praise God, hallelujah. Welcome back to this program. Uh, I hope you are doing well in the Lord. And today, I'm going to share with you something very, very important. Actually, it's something that will automatically change your life. And I call, I call it the action of faith. Now, as believers, we are people of faith. We are believers. That's why we are called believers. So, we are supposed to walk by faith. And the one of the ways to express our faith is to take action of faith. Now, now, let's discuss what are those actions of faith. How can I be sure that the Lord is leading me to take an action of faith? Now, that's what we are going to discuss in this video of today. Now, go with me uh, in this book of uh, Luke chapter 17. Luke chapter 17. Let me read from verse 11. The Bible says this. Now, it happened as he went to Jerusalem that he passed through the midst of Samaria and the Galilee. Then, as he entered a certain village, hallelujah, there met him ten men who were leper, lepers, who stood afar off, and they lifted up their voices and they said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go show yourself to the priest. And they saw it was that as they went, they were cleansed. Praise God. Now, <laughs> this is a very uh, interesting story. Jesus was passing, according to the Bible, between Samaria and the garden. And now, I don't know how these ten lepers heard about this story, and they came to meet Jesus. Now, they stood far off. The reason they, they stood far off is because in the Israelite culture, lepers were not supposed to come close to other people. That's why they stood far off. And then they lift up their, their voice, they cry up to Jesus. They say, Jesus, have mercy on us. So we are, we are, we are, we are leprous. Kindly heal us. Now, in the normal way, I was expecting Jesus to say, now be cleansed or be healed or uh, come close and they lay hands on them. But that's not what Jesus did. See, now here Jesus did something very remarkable. Instead of uh, saying be healed or any of those, he just told them to go to show themselves to the priest. Now, you may not understand exactly what Jesus meant here. Because now, in the book of the laws, when you read the Exodus and the Leviticus, all those books, you realize that a leprous, he will have to go to show himself to the priest once he is healed. Because that was the culture of the life. That was the law. The moment you think you are healed as a leprous, that's when you go to show yourself to the priest. It was never meant to go to show yourself to the priest while you are still sick. Now, in this case, Jesus didn't pray for them. He didn't confess any word on them. He didn't say you are healed. He didn't say any of those. They were still sick. And then, they, they just, these lepers just left, lift up their, their voice and said, have mercy on us. And Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest. <laughs> they were still lepers. Still lepers. Yet, Jesus said, go show yourself to the priest. How? They could have said, how? We are supposed to go to show the we are not even supposed to come close to any other people. Leave aside the, the priest. We are not even supposed to go to, to any close to any people while we are still sick. That's when the action of faith comes in. Do you think it's just related to those lepers? No, this is our daily life. Sometimes we are compelled by the Lord to take this kind of action. That means these people were supposed to start a journey of going showing, showing themselves to the priest while they, are, they were still sick. Now, look at what the Bible says. Now, here, the Bible says this. Jesus, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. Uh, up to that point, they are still sick. So when he saw them, he said to them, go, show yourself to the priest. They are still sick. And they saw it he was. I love this one. So it he was. That as they went, I, hey, as they went, they were cleansed. You see? Now, you have to realize when they were cleansed, 
they were cleansed while they were taking that action. Now, that action of going to show yourself to the priest show that you believe in the word of Jesus. Show that they believe in the word of Jesus. Show that now they accept that is a sign that they, they are healed. The fact that, just the fact that they are going to show themselves to the priest, it shows that they are healed. <laughs> Praise God. I know, in this case, there are people who are angry, say, no, 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 let me be healed first, and then I will go to show themselves to the priest. After all, that's what the law said. But that's not what Jesus was saying. He said, go show yourself to the, to the, to the priest. That means this man, start this journey. Now imagine, imagine, I was thinking of, of this passage, imagine they meet some of their friends and say, where are you going? Say, we are going to show ourselves to the priest. Hey, you are sick, you are leprous, yet you are going to show yourself to the priest. Where did you get this from? From Jesus. Jesus said, show, go, go, show yourself to the priest. Praise God. Can we do the same? Can we sometimes take the same action? I call these actions of faith. Praise God, praise God. Hallelujah. Now, go with me in the book of John chapter 2. John chapter 2. The Bible calls this the first miracle of Jesus Christ. It's, this is when Jesus turned water uh, into wine. Now, to make this story short, let me read John chapter 2. Let me start with verse, uh, verse 5. No, let me start with verse 4. Huh? Uh -huh. Jesus said to her, that this is, Jesus said to Mary, Woman, what does your concern have to do with me? My hour has not yet come. <laughs> you have to get this story. Mary, the mother of Jesus, went to Jesus, telling him that, now in this wedding there is a lack of wine. Now Jesus said, now, what does it have to do with me? But then, it seemed like Mary, knew exactly what Jesus would do. Because now, after that, Mary, that means the mother, the mother of Jesus, said to the servant, whatever he says to you, do it. Whatever he says to you, do it. Can you see that? Now, six. Now, they were set, they were set there six water pots of stone according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing 20 or 30 gallons a piece. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, these water pots there were set there for purification of the Jews. Now, in the Jewish culture or Israelite cultures, when you are coming together, most of the time they will purify themselves. They wash their feet, their hands, things like this. And that. this was not supposed to be a clean water. It was also supposed to be a drinking water. Because imagine the, 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 this pot, these water pots were set at the gate. That means when whoever person is coming, he will have just to take some and they wash his hands. Imagine that kind of water. Apart from even the water, imagine that kind of environment. Now, Jesus said something. He said to the servant, Now, uh, they were set there six water, water pots of stone according to the manner of purification of the Jews, containing 20 or 30 gallons apiece. Jesus said to, to them, that means to the servant, Fill the water pots with water. Fill them. For what? The wedding has already started. Maybe everyone has purified himself. Why the reason of the water? Remember, maybe the, the servant did remember the words of Mary, the mother of Jesus. He said, whatever he said to you, do it. Now, they obey anyway. They fill the, the, the water pot with water. Now, what will happen next? We shock you. Look at them. Fill the water pot with, with water. They fill them up to the brim. And he said to them, <laughs> I love this. He said to them, draw some out of out, out now. Take it to the master of the feast. Now, the master of the feast were the one to distribute wine. He was the one in charge of giving the guests wine. So the servant were supposed to bring wine. But now he said, <laughs> now the, the wine has finished. They were lucky, they in lack of wine. Jesus said, said just fill those, these, these water pot of water they feed to the brim water water i mean water they put in water not wine they fill it with water it was not even a nice one it was the i would say unclean water i'm just thinking praise god now 
Jesus now did something very remarkable. <laughs> he said to them, take some and take it to the master of the town, the wealthy. To take, to take what? Now, the servant would expect Jesus to perform a miracle for that water to turn into wine so that they can take it to the master of the, 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 the wedding. No, that's not what Jesus did. That's where the action of faith comes in now. These are seven, the same seven who filled those gallons with water. They knew it was water. They even drew it, it was water. Yet they were instructed to take it to the... Imagine, imagine what they... I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what was causing their mind to say, what will the master say? I mean, the master of the, the, this wedding. What will he say, seeing me bringing water? Praise God. Hallelujah. Man of purification of the Jews, containing 20 or 30 gallons of a piece. Jesus said to them, fill the water pots with water as they fill them up to the brim. And he said to them, draw some out now and take it to the master of the feast. <laughs> and they, they took it. They took it. Hey, when the master of the feast had tasted the water that was made when we don't know exactly when that miracle happened. Probably, I believe, it happened when these seven were taking this action. Actually, I believe it, it happened when they were, they were on their way to the master of the feast. That when it happened. The, the miracle didn't happen. Just They didn't just wait. No, no, no. Jesus, let this water turn into one and then I will take it. No, 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 no. Jesus said, draw some. Some of the water, draw them. They draw it. On their way to the master of the feast, that miracle happened. Praise God. Now, how do I call that? I call it action of faith. Action of faith. My brother, my sister, we are not the people of this world. We are believers. This is our nature. We are supposed to take action of faith. Miracles in the kingdom of God happens where you are taking it. action. The people say, okay, let me get enough money so I can do this. You are wasting your time. In the kingdom of God, sometimes you need to take action for something to happen. Praise God. So what is uh, here, the most important thing is what Mary said to the servant. I think that is the most instructive. Look at verse 5. His mother said to the servant, I believe the same word is coming to you now. His mother said to the servant, Whatever he says to you, do it. Do not try to figure it out in your head. Do not try to understand it in your head. Whatever, look at this, whatever he says to you, do it. So when the Lord said, take action, take it action. When the Lord said, start that business, go ahead, start that business. When the Lord said, it's a time for your wedding, start preparing. Miracles will take place when, while you are taking an action. Don't wait because you are taking, you are wasting your time. According to the instruction, whatever, whatever he says to you, do it. Believe when you are reading the Bible, meditating on the Bible, praying, the Lord is speaking to you. The Lord is speaking to you. So now you have to take action. There are people who are taking action, they think they are waiting, they are waiting on God. God is waiting for you. God is waiting for you. Because these guys, oh God, oh God, oh God. Do you remember, when the Israelites got to the, to the Red Sea, the Red Sea was not just a small, a small river. That was a huge thing. And then, when Moses started praying to God, saying, God, save us, God, you know what God said? He said, tell the Israelites to go forward. To go forward. To go forward to where? This is the Red Sea. To go forward to where? There's no way. There's no boat. There's nothing else. They were just on the edge of the Red Sea. Yet God instructed them to tell the Israelites to go forward. That means they were supposed to start going in while the river was still there. That's when the miracle started happening. The same thing happened when the Israelites crossed the Jordan River. Actually, they stepped into Jordan River. That's when the miracle happened. My brother, my sister, I believe in the same pattern. This is the kingdom of God we are talking about. 
is regulated by the word of God. It's a kingdom of faith. We are supposed to be the men and the women of our actions. So this message of today is to, to encourage you. If the Lord has been telling you something, do it. If you believe the Holy Spirit is telling you something, do it. Don't look at the circumstances. The Bible says, whoever look at the wind, we never saw. So don't look at the, the winds because it will de dis disorient you. Whatever instruction you receive from, the God, from God, take action. Go for it. And you will see tremendous miracles. I believe miracles happen while we are taking action. I believe this short message will encourage you to take action and do what the Lord has been telling you to do. Praise God. So I hope to see you next time when I release another video. Until then, keep shining and doing what the Lord is instructing you to do. Because really, miracles are connected to action of faith. Thank you.